Hello guys, today I want to show you nested controllers in Laravel and also some advanced tips on how to use them with route model binding with so-called scope bindings. For example, you have projects and you have tasks and project has many tasks. So to edit the task, for example, from the task list, usual thing is to click edit and have the URL of tasks ID edit. But what if you want to have two levels, which is projects then project ID and then tasks edit. So for that, you could use nested controllers. Without nested controllers, typical route would be route resource tasks. And then in task controller, you would have edit method with route model binding to tasks and that all works. But you may create a project task controller. So separate controller, which would accept both project and task. And here's how it works. Basically, it's the same resource controller with index, create, store, and everything. But every method, in addition to potentially tasks, accepts project as one of the parameters. And for example, if you want to have just the edit URL for that, you could do something like this. So as I said, projects, project, tasks, task, edit. And then in the edit method, you have both project as a parameter and task as a parameter. And let's try to launch it in my browser. So projects ID, which is one and tasks ID. So the same edit form, the same blade, just with the URL of projects. And if you want to do it for the whole route resource, this is also possible. Then you would do something like this route resource projects dot tasks, and then assign full controller. Then you don't need to specify the edit here. Edit will be just one of the methods. So that's how nested resource controllers work in general. But one important thing, they don't actually check for the project to have that task. It doesn't check that task belongs to that project. So let's get back to, for example, edit method. And in the project task controller, we have project as a parameter, but it's not automatically being checked unless you do something like if task project ID is not the same as project ID, then abort 404, which means that the actual record is not found, the URL is incorrect. But if you don't do that, you would have kind of a security issue because I can do projects two tasks one edit, and that form would still work, although that task doesn't belong to that project. To fix that, Laravel has a feature called scope bindings. So on the URL of nested resources, you can add scope bindings and that scope bindings would assume that the project model would have has many relationship to the tasks and would check that automatically refresh. And now we have 404 not found because task doesn't belong to that project. But if we change it back to one, then it is correct. So if you want to actively check the parent to have that child, then use scope bindings. To use scope bindings in the route resource, that wouldn't work automatically. So if you do something like route resource and then at the end scope bindings, that doesn't work, that doesn't exist on the resource. Scope bindings does not exist. But you can do a route group, so route group, which would have a function of just that route resource inside. And that route resource does not have scope bindings, but you can add scope bindings on a group route scope bindings, and then group, and that would work. So now the task is checked for the project. And again, if we specify incorrect project, it would be not found. This topic is a bit similar to multi-tenancy topic in Laravel or in whatever language. And I'm shooting a course about multi-tenancy. So how to ensure that the user would see only their record or the team, the tenant, the company would be limited only to see only their records. And I will launch this course in upcoming week or two, I hope. And it will be on my Laravel daily teachable.com alongside 30 more courses. So the best way you can get the upcoming multi-tenancy course first is to subscribe to yearly membership, which will give you 30 courses, which are at the moment and everything I will release for a year ahead. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.